five hours, five hours, raw sewage dumped, you know, like a, like a just a faucet full force into my yard. We met Pam Kusti last yeah, August. Her Walnut to Street to yard to inundated with raw really sewage. Tammany Utilities working since then to fix it uh, takes time. We have to map out the things that we're going to do midterm, short term, long term to make all those improvements. Pam Kusti is not alone. This is raw sewage. It turns it's out a state lawmaker has been enduring a similar nightmare. After having endured that for close to seven years and probably 30 spills, uh, I finally said, you know what, we're going to put this on Facebook, which we did. Holly says the post went viral. A lot of people apparently in the same smelly situation. Now I'm almost the conduit for people sharing their griefs. With the legislation already pre-filed, Hollis wants a statewide commission created to study ways to fix the issue of sewage overflows. Geez, it's not limited to our neighborhood. This is across the parish and perhaps across the state. We're not doing it. No, we're not doing this by the seat of our pants. Just down the street from Hollis's house, extensive repairs already made to a lift station there part of Tammany Utility's ongoing effort to address sewage overflows. We have gone top to bottom, looked at all of our sewer lift stations and created a long-term uh, deficiency list uh, for capital improvements that we plan to do this year. But Hollis wants more accountability, a commission including lawmakers, health and environmental experts, and local entities. But having to endure it uh, in this day and age with the kind of outrageous taxes that we already pay, uh, we're looking for answers. We're not looking for attitude. On the North Shore, Heath Allen, WDSU News.